Hello everyone, I'm Alain Oliveira. I'm a pharmacist and research at the University of São Paulo in Brazil, and I'm here to present your research paper entitled Contribution of Pharmaceutical Care to Person-Centered Healthcare and the Safety of Pharmacotherapy for Hospitalized Older Individuals in Brazil, an Investigating Single-Arm Intervention Trial. Multiple chronic degenerative disease develop with age and cause the incessant search for treatment. The lack of mood professional integration in healthcare is associated with inadequate prescription, poor adherence to treatment, therapeutic ineffectiveness, and the occurrence of adverse events result from unnecessary polypharmacy. The inappropriate use of medication is a public health problem and causes up to 50% of hospitalization. On the other hand, the pharmaceutical care is an important strategy for promoting the appropriate use of medicines and consequently a strategy capable of reducing errors and the aggravation caused by pharmacotherapy. Therefore, our study aimed to evaluate whether pharmaceutical care when inserted in a geriatric ward in the context of person-centered healthcare cooperates with the safety of pharmacotherapy in older individuals in Brazil. Pharmaceutical services provided in the context of the pharmaceutical care were implemented in the geriatric ward of the Hospital das Clínicas de Ribeirão Preto in Brazil. This is an important hospital and reference for the health system in Brazil, with more than 30,000 admissions per year. The pharmaceutical care with the practice of pharmacotherapeutic follow-up, medication reconciliation and pharmacotherapy review was made available to identify adverse drug events and medication errors, as well as the associated factors and the clinical outcomes were analyzed. In our results in this preliminary study, 16 participants were included. It is a found then on hospital admission, 19% of them were polymedicating, and 87% had a history of using potentially inappropriate medication. Adverse drug events and medication errors were detected in 43 individuals with drugs that act on the nervous system associated with them. Acceptance of the pharmaceutical care recommendation reached the rate of 18.5%. Polypharmacy and the presence of multiple disease had an effect on the presentation of adverse drug events and medication errors. The number of medication use decreased in the comparison between admission and hospital discharge. So, our conclusion is that older people were more susceptible to unnecessary polypharmacy that cause adverse events. But the pharmaceutical care provides improvements in this scenario and contributed to the prescribing of medication in this population. Therefore, avoid adverse events. Our research is available in the journal Current Drug Safety. Thank you for your attention.